Hi Gemini, welcome back. I will be using my Shadowscapes Tarot to explore the general messages that came, that came up for you in the general reading. I did mention a few things, you know, taking a leap of faith, taking a chance, a magnetic attraction, being drawn to something here you feel you have to be somewhat defensive about or you know may ruffle a few feathers underneath. Feeling a bit of mixed emotions deep down but your actions say otherwise. So let's have a look and see how this applies for you in regards to love, romance and relationships for Gemini. Wow, okay, the two of wands, the lovers, the four of swords, <clears throat> four of pentacles, two more cards, the page of pentacles, and the three of swords. Oh, okay, let's really point out that three of swords here, three of swords that sits next to, very close to the seven of swords, possible deceit here. Some of you are partaking in a situation that will, it's a third party thing. It's not a healthy thing. It can revolve. It, it will actually result in someone being the fool here. Okay, so someone's someone's going to be angry. Someone's going to be upset. Someone's going to result in being hurt. It could be you. It could be someone around you. You are coming up as the lovers, so I do believe this is someone you've got a very strong attraction to. I'm not sure if you're already coupled up with someone though here, Gemini, or you're already promised to someone else because I feel someone's going to get hurt here. It's definitely in regards to a relationship. This could be you, this could be a partner in April, um, uh, or possibly even options in love, okay? Different people fighting for your attention and you have to take a chance. This is you having the element of choice with the Three of Swords and the Two of Wands. Choices to be made. Some of you are meeting someone on travel opportunities, or you're meeting someone foreign or abroad here. Um, could be a long distance relationship that gets established. Or it might come to a point where this person wants to meet you, but you've been avoiding. For some reason, you're either fearful of meeting this person in the flesh, and you've been withdrawing with the Four of Swords. You've been avoiding that topic, you know, beating around the bush. Or you feel like a part of you, your heart belongs with someone else, or you keep thinking about someone else. It's all about that element of choice with the Two of Wands. You could have two prospects here. This is strong fire energy though, so Aries, Sag, or Leo coming through. Could be another Gemini coming in with a beautiful lover's card. There is a soulmate connection here. I just want to point that out. Um, so before you go saying no to some of these connections here, Gemini, some of you are actually meeting someone that could change your life. Um, this could result in marriage and or engagement because the doves whisk away this crown, which looks like a ring here. Um, so for some of you, this could be someone that can give you a solid future in regards to romance and relationships. It's a face-to-face -face meeting, so I'm not sure if you've previously had, for those that have been doing the online dating thing, you're either meeting up with this person in the flesh, um, whether it's going against your conscience or not, you know, some sort of internal battle here for some of you. Um, but the two of you will hit it off is what I'm seeing. Um, I almost feel like you're going to hit it off so well, you'll need time to recover from the date or from your relationship. It's almost like you'll need time to think everything through. Okay, major life assessment needs to occur in regards to relationships with the Four of Swords. Um... Something about a person that you've been laying to rest or if you've been single, if you've been in this somewhat single slumber, so to speak, Gems. Some of you are meeting a soulmate this month. Um, it's a soulmate twin flame, Adam and Eve. It's a very important relationship in your life. Um, there's growth. It's sitting near the Empress, which I like, okay? There's a lot of opportunity with this person, either to travel, to embark on new journeys, to do something you haven't done before. It's a new kind of relationship. Um... The Four of Swords is here for some of you. Some of you are actually walking away or you're ending something here. You'll actually, it's either you'll convince yourself you'll end it because, you know, you're thinking very deeply about it. So obviously there's a reason why. I'm not sure if this person has deceived you before or if they've moved very quickly. They've either moved away from you. Um, they've acted a bit, you know, unsettled here with that full card energy. He's not, he's a bit of a nomad. So it's someone that's been a bit fickle or wishy-washy here and this to you it has an appeal to you um and as a result that's why you've been going very treading very lightly with them you haven't really promised much to them because of this reason um, because you also have the four of pentacles these two cards the four of swords with the four of pentacles this is words and actions of withdrawing it could be an earth sign that's withdrawing from some of you or another fellow air sign that's um, withdrawing from you but it's 
you're closing in, okay, you're guarding, your, it's the need for protection, okay, resistance and or protection comes in many forms, protecting your heart, protecting yourself or this other person protecting themselves. Um, some of you that are partaking in an affair or a third party situation, your partner senses what you're doing, okay, um, the full card is here, so they sense something is up and if this is not you in that last column with these two cards, it's that person, okay, they're sensing that something is up and you'll see them withdraw. I see them watching you. I do. Page of Pentacles. This person is... See something up. Okay, they're very observant. They've, they've caught on to something here, Gemini. So, you know, it could be you getting involved in a tricky situation here in April. Um, but on a positive side, I feel like someone you work with or you work for or they work for you with the Page of Pentacles has had their eye on you. And I think it's an Earth sign, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo which could result in a wonderful new connection. Maybe you've been avoiding the flourishing of this connection because you work together. It's perhaps conflict of interest. It may be frowned upon in your line of work. It's maybe a boundary you don't wish to cross or you're fearful to cross, and that's why you've been holding back. But that doesn't mean that this person has been any more um, subtle about how they feel for you. And April could be a, a romantic month where you connect. Something happens intimately. Um, through flirtation, through touch, through exchange of words, through a date. There's some sort of progress made with this person here. Um, you've wanted this, Gems. You've wanted this. And I feel like there's going to be a beautiful window of opportunity to make the move. But you'll be in two minds. So I don't know why you keep holding back. Either you've got someone else around you already, or you're too fearful. Something about this will, this kind of energy will hold you back, or you feel conflicted. Um... Maybe this person has recently left a certain situation here and they're still healing. Maybe, you know, they're still very scarred from some sort of recent events in a past relationship. And maybe this is why you're trying to slam the brakes and, and, and retract a little bit here. It's almost like that too hot to handle energy, which I believe I added the title for this video. Um, wow. Okay. I will leave it at that though for the um, love. Let's have a look at the career. <clears throat> For gems. Okay, the sun. Sun and the moon. Okay, masculine and feminine energy here. Queen of Wands, judgment. Um, page of Wands. And last card is the Ten of Swords. Okay, the sun with the Empress. Your creative side is definitely very flourishing. You're going to have a lot of ideas here. Um, a lot of ideas that will help the growth of a business, of your own business, a company, a team, a collaborative project. The sun here is all about creativity, youthfulness, playfulness, real harmonious time coming in for business and or career with the sun. This is giving birth, you know, this notion of giving birth or planting new ideas, planting new seeds that you'll actually nurture the growth of. Um, so I like this. So you might be assigned to something here with the sun card. Um, you're going to embrace it. Oh, Maya, you're going to embrace it in a very beautiful way here. You've got the moon here as well. For some of you, if you have a male, female boss or superiors you have to impress, I do believe you will impress them. Um, I also see it as a divine masculine and feminine relationship coming in through either clients, customers, business services, or the workplace. There's a destined relationship for some of you. Um, either you have to collaborate together to create something beautiful here, um, because the two of you complement each other, okay? You're in each other's lives for the purposes of business or professional pursuits. This is what I'm seeing. The moon card is here. This is a cancer. Um, there could be a cancer coming through or a female, a divine feminine female who's around you and helping you in some way here. <clears throat> The moon is also creativity, it's intuition, it's also possibly a bit of mystery. Um, again, I come back to this column here, you do possibly not know enough about a work situation here to it to say yes to it or to agree to it, but for some reason you feel drawn to it. Um, it's calling you, Gemini, it's calling you, whatever this is, I feel like it's spilling over to your career now in some way, or creative pursuits even, performing, you can see she's got a mask performing, seeking fame, and, you know, Geminis are known to be very talented. Let's take a look at Angelina Jolie, you know, Johnny Depp, prime examples of that Gemini talent. So some of you, if you are seeking production and fame to be in the public eye, um, to have a double persona or, like, be someone in the public eye, um, 
you know, be that confident, outgoing twin and then be the more subtle twin at home. You know, whatever it is, this is coming through for some of you. But it's also mystery, okay? A bit of mystery around the workplace. Someone could be playing a double agent as well. There's a mask here. Someone could be not very honest. Could be you, Gemini. It could be you that's playing a double agent. You that's sort of partaking in gossip. There definitely could be judgments or gossip passed in the workplace is what I'm seeing here. Um, reviews, critiques. Okay, I feel like you're genuinely going to be hurt by them, Gem. Um, the judgment card isn't all bad. It can be positive reviews, absolutely. But I feel like if this is critiques, you'll, you'll get down very quickly about it. If it's gossip, don't partake in it. It might be about someone you really care about, a colleague, a boss someone that you're quite close to, a client, a customer. Um, don't partake in this because you might be genuinely upset, okay? It'll take you to a dark place here and no, 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 we don't we don't want that, okay? When we get taken to that dark place, we, it's, it's not the easiest thing to get ourselves back out of that, okay? So you've got to be the better person. You've got to be the bigger person here in a work situation, I feel, with that judgment card. You do have the Queen of Wands. Um, she is symbolic of a Leo here. I definitely feel you've got a fire sign around you that's that's coming through quite strongly. Something that they'll do or say um, will ruffle a few feathers. But look, it's also a card of leadership. So I don't know if you need to take the initiative in a certain situation here. Um, maybe it's a situation in the workplace people have been thinking about that no one has verbally expressed. Maybe that initiative, the Queen of Wands sitting next to the the full card and the seven of ones maybe it's you that's got to advocate for your team that's got to adv advocate for the people you're working with you know maybe that responsibility is somehow going to fall into your lap and you're just going to have to make do it does point to um openness though the queen of ones is is open so i feel like someone is open to hear you out your opinion your critique, your judgment, someone's open, okay? They're open to hear what you have to say. Um, they won't see it coming though, so you might, you know, throw them throw them off a little bit, but for the most part, I think they'll, you'll, you'll be received well with the Queen of Wands energy. <clears throat> the judgment card could be a contract for some of you. Um, some sort of documents, paperwork, feedback that you'll be receiving, probation, trial papers, documentation to work abroad, um, live abroad, immigration for purposes of work, business documents um, is coming through here. You've been waiting for this. Um, it's coming through. It's almost like a herald. You'll receive some good news is what I'm seeing for, and it's almost like you'll get the green light to grow or change something that you've been wanting to change. So judgment is almost like, you know, tooting the horn and it's it's the ready, set, go tune. So I like that. I think this is giving you a green light to proceed, okay, to proceed with something. Make sure you do your research though. The last thing you want is that kind of energy. Absolutely, you'd be, this is a perfect motivator time for you to do it in April. You just want to make sure you've got, you know, the research down pat. Um, next card, Page of Wands. Also a messenger and a traveler. You've got movement around you here. There might be a window of opportunity that will open up for you to work abroad, work in a different city or change companies um, is what I'm seeing here. There might be a role that's created solely for you and your skills. Okay, there's the page of ones. Is, uh, it's creativity, you know, music, fashion, art, design, writing, producing, whatever it is that you're talented in, whatever you're interested in here, Gemini. It's coming to the surface here and you will be judged. I feel like someone very important might be in the crowd, might be watching you or say, for example, if you've got a YouTube channel, someone of importance is watching you. Um, if you're acting in a theater show, someone is, is watching you. You might be scouted for something um, in April. Someone might, might approach you in, in the flesh, um, online, through sites, networking sites, job sites. Um, I feel like there's going to be approach for your talent here. Ten of Swords can be change. It can point to you being... It's almost like she's slipping into a certain situation, slipping into the unknown. Okay, and this is where I feel like the moon card is coming out because you can see the moon here. So you might be feeling anxious about your position with a certain company or role. Um, 
And if you have been, you know, if this has been that pent up energy, I do believe judgment, you'll finally receive some sort of acknowledgement here, whether you've received a job or not, um, whether you're staying on with a company, say, if, for example, if you've been a temp in a temporary position, you may receive word of permanency here for some of you um, as well. I will leave it at that though, Gems. Thank you so much for joining. I'm sending you all my love and we shall be in touch very, very soon. Take care and bye for now.